Yeah? And uh, you buy this house, okay? And you commit yourself to pay for such a long period of time. Nobody did that. And then when we said to you, this is riba, you then said to us, this is darura. You need a house to live in. Now who wants to live in a hut, mud hut? You need a house to live in. So this is necessity. Did the, did the religion not say that if you don't have food, you could eat pork? Yeah? Darura? That's what they told me in New York. So I said, well, in that case, why are you filling your plate with the pork? <laughs> huh? Look at the big house. You should be eating the minimum pork possible to stay alive, eh? But you're filling the plate with pork. And number two, when you're eating the pork, you should be detesting it. But you fellas are, no, no, in America, they say, they say you guys are licking your teeth, <laughs> licking your fingers. You love the pork. Is that the aura? <laughs> and number three, while you're eating the pork, you have to be searching for food. Oh Allah, where can I get food on your earth so I can stop eating this pork? But no, 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 you signed an agreement to eat pork for 30 years. You're not going to bother to search for food. Is that the rule? If you want to get out of riba, you don't do these things. You return to the remote countryside and build a small hut that you can build within your capacity, your means. Don't rent. Rent is only a transitional period. I also rented when I was in New York because when you're renting, you're paying your landlord's riba for him. <laughs> Indirect riba. You build a small house and live debt free. And you bring back the gold, the dinar and silver dirham in the market and you'll be able to save yourself as much as you can for riba. But finally, remember, the Prophet said that the time will come when you not find a single person in all of mankind who is not consuming riba. And whoever says that he is not consuming riba, verily the dust of riba would be upon him. Verily the vapor of riba would reach him. This is the Jal's most dangerous weapon of all, riba. And if we allow it to be injected into our system, the Jal will enslave us. ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتبع علينا يا مولانا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين We have one hour I timed it eh? <laughs> We have one hour which is a sufficient amount of time for discussion and question and answer